there and welcome to this week's France Fine Guys YouTube presentation. Well, you know, I'm often asked about how to choose the right area in France. After all, it's a huge country. It offers a huge range of different landscapes, architecture, prices, weather. Uh, when we were looking for our property, we found it quite hard to choose, although it's a joy as well. There are just so many lovely areas to choose from, offering proper seasons for those who don't really want to have sun all the time. Um, there's also a wealth of choice, as you probably know, of character properties. The sense of history is re very real in France, and the house we bought, as you probably know also, is right next to a 14th century church, which almost um, seems to come to a penny in France. The variety of activities is great too. Sport is very popular, and you'll find in uh, countryside areas there are always fates, festivals, and concerts and the like going on. So when thinking about where you'd like to be, consider what's important for you. If it's sunshine, you're going to need to he head south, quite far south, to get the best of the sun. If it's uh, the ocean you're looking at, you've got the choice, obviously, of the Atlantic or the Med. The area around Bordeaux on the Atlantic side or further up at La Rochelle is really lovely. Or if it's a Mediterranean climate uh, that you're looking for, then you need to come down to the area really where we are in the Long de Roussillon, which is actually close to the border with Spain. It's, it's a super area, the Long de Roussillon. It really is possible to spend a day at the beach um, and go skiing uh, later on. But if it's just a good walk or a hike you're looking at, um, then you'll be fine. There's plenty of wonderful scenery, rolling hills and mountains in the background. Now, most people who want to live in France um, want to know how they're going to get back to the UK and of course it's easier these days with the opening up of so many regional airports but if you really want to be close um, northern France is worth looking at not to be sneezed at there are some beautiful parts of both Normandy and Brittany we've actually got some friends who live in Normandy and work part-time in the UK you know it's very easy to hop on a train or, or the ferry or even just a short plane ride away it can be done in these days of fast travel, so consider that also. In the middle of France, you have places such as the Limousin and the Charente. Now, the Limousin is a, is a great area, in my view. It has some beautiful little towns um, and beautiful green countryside, and also it's extremely cheap. It's still the cheapest area of France. It offers great value for money, um, and also it has a great expat community, if that's what you're looking for, as does the Dordogne, which probably, I think, has the most English-speaking people um, in France. Um, city life is great too. I have one reader whose favourite all-time city is Lyon, which is indeed a beautiful city. Most French cities you'll find are fairly compact and easy to get around, uh, and it probably pays, if that's your bag, to look at somewhere that's perhaps in a village, but close enough in striking distance to one of the major cities. After all, it's nice to think you've got some life sort of on the doorstep, um, but not exactly where you're living, where it's feasible. So if you're looking to kickstart your life, then um, France really is a wonderful place to do so. You may even find yourself enjoying all sorts of activities you haven't even thought of. If you'd like more information on the areas of France, do take a look at my France buying guide. I've got an overview of each and every area with the little hot tips about um, the culture there, the food, the climate, the uh, travel, the infrastructure. You can look at that on this website here, order your own copy if you haven't already done so. Meanwhile, I wish you a very good week. We're now in England for a few weeks, Mr. Fixis and I, so I shall be speaking to you again from here next week. Wishing you well. Vive la France and see you again soon. Bye-bye.